Okay, now we're going into the model for quantity discount. Okay, so for this model, they will have table. Okay, so most of the questions have table in which they give you a different price involved. Okay, for he, for this uh, example, they give you if you buy they this they we call this uh the range. Okay, if you buy zero to ninety nine, these are the price. Okay, when you buy one thousand to one thousand nine hundred ninety nine, these are the price. So they give you a range for the discount price. It sometimes it seems that it's cheaper, but you have to buy more. Whether it worth it or not, you have to do the calculation. Okay. So the total cost formula for the quantity discount is involved with the product cost. They have the price, okay, price and the uh, demand. And for the Q in quantity discount, it can be in two uh, type, okay. Sometimes they give you the holding cost fix for any price, and sometimes they give you percentage of the price for the holding, okay. If you look at this, this is the H and this is the I, IP. So I will give you an example on the IP when it need to be used. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's write this example. Okay. This is a quantity discount when you know it that there's a different price offered. And also they have the range involved. So it give the, for, they give us information on annual demand. That's the capital D, 5,000. And then we have ordering cost is 49, in which this is the S. Okay. And also, we are trying to find the H or the carrying cost, but they give us in percentage. So the H is equal 20% of the price. Uh, so it's going to be a different H for each price. Okay. So they want to know what are the quantity will minimize the cost. So first step is to find the Q. Okay. And since we have a different price and the price is 20% uh, is considered as holding cost. So we need to calculate for every Q because this Q going to be, this H going to be different, different and dif different. So they're going to be three Q value. Okay, so we're going to use this formula. Okay, because the H is not fixed price. It's a percentage. So look at the first range. 0 to 99. So from here, we will calculate the Q. Okay, 2 times 500 is the demand. And then 49 is the ordering cost. And then the holding cost is 20%. Okay, 0 0.2 of the P. So we go for the first uh, discount is 5 ringgit. So we have 700 of Q value. Okay, okay when you finish calculate, you need to check with the range. Is it within the range? Yes, yeah, 700 is between 0 to 999. Okay, so we will decide to buy at 700 for the first discount. Then we need to calculate for the second discount, okay, for this range. 1,000 to 1,999. So we need to recalculate the Q because the price is different. Here is 4 uh, ringgit 80 cent. So going to change here. So the Q going to be 714. So again, when we get this answer, you need to check, is it within the range or not? Definitely it's not, okay? So you need to adjust. You need to adjust to the minimum uh, value of the range. For this part, we need to adjust to 1,000. Okay, now we're going to calculate for the third discount price Q. So the range is 2,000 and over. So we change the price here. To four ringgit seventy five cent, and we get seven hundred eighteen uh, unit or cars. So again, we check with the range. or oh, it's not in the range, so we need to adjust to the minimum value here. So it's two thousand. So we already know the Q value for each uh, price, okay, for each discount. So now we need to calculate the total cost. Okay, for total cost uh, in quantity discount, uh, we are using this formula and it's better to have in the table form for easy uh, calculation. Okay, so first we need to fill up the price, the Q that we have uh, adjust just now. Okay, and then the H. So let's start. So this one, don't, don't uh, straight calculate first. So uh, you make sure that you provide all the information. So these are the for ordering cost. Okay, this one is for holding cost and this one is the product cost. So let's fill up for the P. So we have 
uh, three price here. So five ringgit, four point eight, and four point seven five. Okay, Q. Remember, we have calculate from here. Q for the first discount is seven hundred. A uh, Q for second discount is one thousand, and then Q for third discount is two thousand. Okay, then uh, I advise you to calculate H. Okay, for each price. So the first one is one ringgit. How I get this one is from zero point two times the price of five ringgit. So I got one ringgit. So I need to calculate for the H when it's four ringgit eighty cent. So zero point two times four ringgit eighty cent. 0.96 and then I need to calculate for the 4 ringgit 75 cent H is the uh, 95 cent okay so we done with this then we start to calculate the uh, annual ordering annual holding and annual product because we have D we have Q okay different Q and then we have S and then we have ready everything so now we calculate so Ordering cost, okay, for the first one, okay, I plug in all the demand, 5,000, and then Q is 700, and then S is 49, okay, so I got 350. So, I will uh, complete all the boxes, okay, be careful. Then, uh, finally, I will total up the uh, each discount. So, for the first discount at 5 ringgit, it's 25,700, and then for 4 ringgit 80 cent, the total cost is 24,725, and finally, for the 475 ringgit discount, the total cost is 24,822 ringgit 50 cent. So, now we can decide which one is the best option. So, we go for the total lowest cost, Okay, 24,722 and how to answer this question is buy at 1,000 at the price of 480 for the total lowest cost. Okay, that's how you do the quantity discount. Okay, okay now we will look again in ROP but this time the ROP will involve with the safety stock. In, in which it means that our supplier is not reliable. Sometimes they cannot send the supply on time. So, we need to have safety stock. Safety stock ni orang kata macam backup stock. Okay. So, we will go into the probabilistic model. Okay. And in, we in, involve with the probability. And this time, uh, can you see that the D times L we learned before. And this time, we need to plus the SS. SS is the safety stock okay and these are the formula and when we talk about safety stock it will have the annual stock out cost okay when we cannot uh, we don't have any uh, supply okay to process there's no item so we will uh, stock out cost will occur okay so we have more cost holding cost uh, ordering cost and plus the stock out cost so for this one, we look at the safety stock example. So, the ROP have been calculated at 50 unit. Order per year is 6. Okay, in one year, they order 6 times. And then, they have the stock out cost. Okay, 40 ringgit per frame. And the carrying cost or holding cost is 5 ringgit per frame per year. And usually, they give you the demand during that time. And these are the probability uh, the, lead, the demand happen. Okay, it always... Uh, uh, sum up to 1. So, the ROP is set as 50. Okay, let's look at the information that we need. Okay. Okay, we need to know the annual stock up cost uh, formula. So, the sum of the unit short in which demand minus ROP. So, we have the demand here and then we have set the ROP at 50 and then the probability is this one and the stock up cost we have 40 ringgit. The number of order per year is 6. Okay, now when we want to do this calculation, you need to have a table. Okay, we need to create a scenario. Okay, we know that our ROP is 50. So, how do I know this one is 20? Okay, look at the maximum uh, demand. So, the, the, the maximum demand and the ROP, there's a 20, uh, 20 uh, demand different. So, we set at 20. Let's say this one, they have until 80. So, you need to 80 minus 50. So, you need to start at 30. So, for this case, you need to start at 20 because 70 minus 50 is 20. Okay, we set at 20 first. The scenario, the first scenario. So, when we have uh, 50 ROP plus 20 safety stock, so we total together, we have 70. So, 
uh, if we have safety stock, definitely we're going to have holding costs. So 20 times 5, the carrying cost or holding cost, so it costs 100. So on the stock out uh, case, okay, we start with the 60. And then now we have 20 plus 50, so 70. Do we have any stock out? No, for 60, demand happened. Okay, so we look at 70 scenario. Is there any stock out for 70 when the demand happened? No, because we have 70 on hand. So we can uh, use all the 70. Okay, now we move to 10 safety stock. Okay, what happened if 10 safety stock? First, we will have holding cost for sure. Times, 10 times 5. Okay, now look at the stock out scenario. Now we have 50 plus 10. So we have 60 on hand. So when 60 demand happen, can we deliver? Yes, we have 60. So cukup cukup je. So there's no stock out cost for 60. So what happen if 70 demand occur? Okay, so again, on hand kita ada 50 plus 10, so 60. So what happen bila 70 demand berlaku, occur, so when we have 60 at hand, so kita ada shortage of 10. So 10, these are the sum, so demand 70 berlaku, tapi dekat tangan kita ada 60 sahaja, iaitu 50 plus 10, 60. So we have 10. Shortage and then times with the probability of 70 berlaku is 0 0.1 and then 40 ringgit is the stock up cost and the number order per year is 6. So we have 240 uh, ringgit stock up cost. So we have to add up 50 plus 20, we, 240, we have 290. Okay, what happen if we don't carry any safety stock? Okay, definitely kita tak ada additional cost lah untuk holding cost sebab tak ada safety stock. Okay, tapi stock up akan berlaku. Pertama, we look at the 60 scenario punya demand. So again, 60 scenario. Tapi dekat tangan kita tak ada safety stock. So kita add ROP 50 saja. So 60 minus 50. Okay, demand berlaku 60. And then ROP kita 50. So kita uh, have 10. And then again, the probability of berlaku 60 demand is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 the cost is 40 and then the order is 6 okay now we look at the second uh, uh, do demand if 70 if 70 berlaku happen so the rop kita tak safety stock is just 50 sahaja 70 minus 50 is 20 and then probability of 70 demand berlaku is 0 0.1 Okay, and then the carrying, and then the stock up cost is 40, and then the order per year is 6. So, we have uh, the scenario when 60 demand happen, and 70 demand happen also have the stock cost. So, the total is 960, and don't forget, uh, we don't have any uh, holding cost. So, the sum is 960. Okay, now we have three options. So, what is the best option to suggest? is to go for total lower cost in which a safety stock of 20 frame give the lowest total cost so ROP you will become 50 okay the, the the one that you fix plus 20 the safety stock so 70 frame okay for the uh, best option all right that's all so we have done the quantity discount and we look at the ROP with the probabilistic and then the next uh, part, we will look at the JIT and lead operation.